Greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our brand new Meteor 75 Pro. This has the 04 light in it. Here we are, completely stock. No modifications whatsoever done to this. And we will share some footage of this. Everyone understands that the field of view of the O4 air unit is somewhat restricted, and I can only agree. So here we have uh, these lens adapters from Flywoo that I have added to this one. Now this is essentially the same as the stock, however some changes have been made. We have improved props. We have actually secured this in a fashion using these tiny screws and have put nuts here to isolate any vibration. This is the original canopy and this is the Flywoo lens adapter that uh, opens it up to 155 degree view. This setup, improved setup here, has eliminated any jello and has increased the view and has allowed me to fly a whole lot more confident, having been able to see what is around me. This I have left completely stock, both in the beta flight settings and in its construction. This one I also have remained the same in blade of flight, with the exception of the tune. The filters have remained the same and yet the tune has been increased. I have also added VBAT compensation, so the batteries uh, do not, I do not uh, experience the sag in the batteries from the beginning to the end. These are the batteries that I use, and they are, they use, uh, they are quite useful. I mean, they, blah, blah. These are the batteries I use, and they work quite well. There are other brands on the market, but these seem to work well for me. This is the first time I have even flown a 1S build. This is my first whoop that I have flown in my entire experience with FPV for many years. So this has proved to be quite fun, and I will be sharing some footage what and showing a difference between both the uh, Meteor uh, 75 Pro to my super duper fancy um, improved version. Now we can print out a different TPU for this, but I simply modified the one that was on here and it seems to work just fine. Okay, here we are with our uh, Mavic 75 Pro, the stock setup. Like I say, nothing's been altered and we're going out for its second flight. Just to give you an idea of it, how it looks. Uh, as you can see, it's just shaking all over the place here. It's a beautiful day, uh, nice and sunny. Here we are just cruising around here, getting the feel of it. Mostly what we are showing here is the lack of field of view. Yes, it's on 4x3. However, your view is still very limited. And this is how it came. And so what we're going to be doing is showing in the next video uh, with the Flywoo lens adapter mod in place. But in this video we're showing several things how it's just bobbling all over the place, video, lots of jello, no matter how we fly it, it's very, very erratic in its flight. Well, we're continuing on here, see there's a jello there. Yep, it's uh, continuing to show its shortcomings. Continuing on here, there's the jello again. Seeing we can fly around this pole here. But again, due to the narrow field of view, 
that is proving to be challenging. As with these 04 lights, they always have that downside in the fact that they have this limited field of view. Here we are giving a little punch out here. Try to do a little flip here. All right, let's go to the next clip. Okay, what you see here is the modified uh, M75 uh, Pro. It's got the Flywoo uh, lens mod on it. You can see that our field of view is much expanded. You can also uh, see and witness the smoothness of the flight. That is because I uh, have tuned it. The filters remain the same. I will put screenshots of those at the end of this video. See how easily and smoothly it's transitioning with its turns. No jello. It's really just cruising around here having no difficulty. And it is uh, doing really well. We are just circling around here in the evening here. Beautiful lights. So we have demonstrating here the improvements of this quad, the M75 Pro. So we not only installed the flight controller, but the VTX and the camera hood uh, through these long screws. Uh, some kids over here cycling isolated some of the vibrations we also installed the improved props we'll put that in the description as well and also installed this uh, flywoo lens mod here kind of shooting it into the sun here to see if there's any lens flare now when you access this from the flight VTX itself, it has Rocksteady on, but the reason I'm showing you how it looks in the goggles is because that way you can see how it looks in the goggles without any editing. There has been no alterations done to the footage of the goggles feed here. You can see some uh, cropping of the corners, but not that bad. And it can easily be taken out with... Uh, Rocksteady or any other auditing software. The reason why I am including only the goggles footage here is so you can see the readouts as well, the voltage, the time of flight. Notice that we are now flying like 2 minutes and 43 seconds on the stock configuration. The same 550 milliamp 1S battery, we were getting 2 minutes, which is not bad. But I venture to say that the tune uh, and the improvements we have done here have increased the flight time. Here we are at three minutes right now. Yes, we're not. Uh, we did some punch outs and some, but we're just kind of cruising around here like we have slowly with our original setup. Here we are, uh, three minutes and 20 seconds, and the voltage is still looking good. Three five per cell for this one cell. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of ripping it around here. Um, and the voltage is looking good. Only pulling 5 or 6 amps, which is typical. And uh, here we are approaching actually 4 minutes now. Just moving around here, looking to see if there's any kind of jello. And there is not. I creep under this bush, under this tree here. Really controllable. Again, just using the stock rates that were on it. And we're just seeing the, how it can be controlled slowly and uh, around close proximity of items. Just a beautiful evening here. You can see and do so much more with this wild, wider field of view. And here we start coming in on a landing kind of low voltage here but 3.4 is good over four minutes of flight awesome